Will made a money cast with the yeah. cast net. Look at that. Look at that. Men hating for days. Sweetwater knows how to throw. <laughs> <laughs> What is up everybody we're gonna do a little video today on how to throw your cast net so uh we use a cast net a lot when we're out here copia fishing drum fishing trout for we use it for like bull minnows we use them for men hayden and bunker and thread fin so we're gonna do a little tutorial here on the ways we throw a cast net there's a million ways to do this there's no right way as long as it opens up for you but uh this is the way we do it so check it out all right so we're here with sweetwater so like Blair just mentioned, there's multiple ways of throwing a cast net, and if it opens, that's the right way for you. My first tip is to put all the excess rope in your hand because it will inevitably get caught around your feet, a cleat on the boat, anything it'll snag on, it will. So this is a big eight foot net, and because I feel some certain kind of way about putting the net in my mouth, I choke up on it to avoid that that method. Choke up on the net so it's more manageable for me. I reach down, grab a piece of the bottom of the skirt. I come up and I put it over my thumb. Grab the bottom of the skirt one more time. That loop right there, I flip away from me. Back on my thumb. Grab the bottom of the skirt one more time and flip this loop towards me. And just like a tennis player has a good follow through, you want with your right hand where you're holding all of this weight, you want a good follow through. So here it is. See that motion, how I had a follow through? You want that net to kind of start spinning. And as it spins, it'll open up. Let it sink to the bottom. What you're looking for is those pancakes. You want them big, flat, wide open uh, flops. So when you've caught your bait, and you're finished throwing the net. I like to fold it up really neatly so that it tucks in the corner of the boat out of the way. So I just fold it in half like this, fold it in half again, fold it in half a third time, and just wrap that bundle of netting with all of the rope that's on the cast net. And if you have an extra bucket on board or a little trash can or anything that this can go in, even a little cabinet door cubby, that'll go in that cubby nice and neatly. And when it comes time to use it again, it's really quick to just unwrap it like that. Get right back into action. If you're on a ball of bait that you need to react really quickly, it's quick, it's easy, it's tidy, and right on it. 